Hey friends, so I have something like 327 contacts in my phone. It seems like a crazy number. You might have double that, you might have half of that. It's just kind of the world we live in. When we meet people, we have their contacts. We might never ever use them again, but we have them. But even if you only had a hundred contacts in your phone, you wouldn't really know each of them incredibly well. Not deeply, not personally, you couldn't. It's just not in our span of relationships to be able to do something that big. But then in my phone, there's also this favorites list. And there's probably one on yours as well, if you have your own phone. On that list, there are people who, with just the one touch or a call or a text away. And my favorites list is much shorter. In fact, there's 13 people on that list. But if we were to get down to it, there's probably really about five people that I call or text all the time that are not my parents and not my children. And those are the handful of people that are closest to me. Now these five people, they know me inside and out, my good things, my bad points, my dreams, my struggles, my favorites, my least favorite things. They're the ones that are not only great friends, but they're great advisors. They're wise and they help me to think things through and make decisions on things. And I'm sure you've got those people too. But I wonder, do you know who they are? When you need to talk, who do you talk to? I mean, beyond your friends and beyond your family. Friends are limited in how they can help. And sometimes the last person we wanna to talk to is a parent, and that's okay. I'm sure there are parents who say, my kid can talk to me about anything, and that's very true. And you may talk to your parents about a lot of things, but you don't talk to them about everything. So who do you go to? I have this dream where every child and youth in the world, every adult even, has five adults other than your parents that you can talk to about the important stuff in life, like school, relationships, parents, your future, God, faith, the problems you're having. Can you think of any adults in your life that fit that description? Maybe it's a coach, teacher, neighbor, grandparent, aunt or uncle, a church staff, a guide, someone who seems to always have the time for you. And if you had someone like that, you know what a difference those relationships can make. But studies show that it's important for us to have five adults that we can go to in our lives. And that's what I want you to have at the very least. Five other adults that are guiding you and giving you input five people who know your hopes and dreams, five people who know your quirks and your good points, five people who can talk honestly about what's going on in your life, five people who can give you wisdom when life gets confusing, five people who care about you and pray for you. If you don't know who your five are, you are not alone, but we are gonna work to change that. We call these five people in our lives our high fives. We're gonna spend time exploring who your high fives are, reaching out to your high fives and building those bonds. So for your small group time, I want you to go around and share your blessings and your bummers and then share who comes to mind first as a high five in your life. Who are they? How do you know them? And what makes them someone that you trust as a high five in your life? And then over the next weeks, we're gonna spend some more time exploring our high fives. So go and share.